All right, time to convert coordinates. So we see how to convert coordinates of a point or equation in one coordinate system to another. In the example here, we have the equation of surface, uh, r squared cosine 2 theta plus c squared plus 1 equals 0. And we want to convert that to rectangular coordinates. So it's a good idea to identify the given coordinate system uh, if that's not already explicit. Um, and we can see from there being r, theta, and z in the equation um, that we are in cylindrical coordinates. And then you want to find equations relating the given coordinate system to the desired coordinate system. So we want to find equations that relate cylindrical coordinates to rectangular coordinates. Um, and there's uh, r squared equals x squared plus y squared and tangent of theta equals y over x. Um, but you might also need some other formulas. Uh, so let's put in x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. And then this one has a cosine of 2 theta. And so we might need the double angle formula. And we use the equations we wrote down in step two to convert the equation or the coordinates. So uh, we'll start by using that double angle formula and replace cosine of two theta with cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. And then we will distribute the r squared. And then you can see that we have r cosine theta and r sine theta. And uh, using these formulas, we see that that's x and y squared. So we don't have anything for z because uh, the cylindrical coordinate z is the same as the rectangular coordinate z. So we don't need to bother with changing that. Um, and we saw in the last section for quadric surfaces um, that these might need to be written a certain way to identify them. If we write it like this, then you might recognize this one as a hyperboloid of two sheets. If not, that will come up in the validation where we plot the results from both. So we plot the coordinates or equation in both coordinate systems. Um, and the tool we're going to use here is the CalcPlot 3D tool. Um, there's a link for it under labs and technology tools. But CalcPlot 3D. Um, you just search CalcPlot 3D, you should come up with this. And let's clear. Um, and if there's a graph here to start with, you can delete it. So we'll first put in the cylindrical coordinate equation. So from the drop down menu, um, select implicit surface and then type it in on squared. And then to put in theta, use the little button there. So there's your hyperboloid of two sheets. And now we want to um, put in the equation that we found at the end of step three, the rectangular coordinate equation. Um, that's also an implicit surface. Uh, we just use x, y, and z. I somehow knew that we'd want to do that, huh? Uh, so y squared 
minus x squared minus z squared plus one. Um, and then they're gonna look a little bit different because of the way the coordinate systems work. Um, that's normal, especially with the domains of them. Um, but you can kind of toggle one off and the other on and just make sure that they are almost the same, um, which we can see that they are. So there's our hyperboloid of two sheets and we've converted the coordinate system correctly. So um, that wraps up converting coordinates methodology instructor model. Go on to the fill in the blanks in your turn examples.